Hey, you guys, it's Mr. Sal just doing another problem. This one was requested by a student, and so here we go. We've got this 1 fourth x plus 1 fifth equals negative 1 times the quantity 5 6 x minus 5. First thing we're going to have to do is to simplify this by distributing that negative 1. So I'm going to distribute it into the parentheses this way. And this is what I get. Notice the negative 1 times the 5 gave us this negative 5. And this negative 1 times this negative 5 gave us a positive 5 term there. Some of you may prefer to see that as minus a negative 5 first. And that's okay. It will eventually change to a plus 5 anyways. Now from here, just like the previous problem, all we need to do is find common denominators. So if we looked at just 4 and 5, maybe we could use 20. But considering this 6 as a denominator, and the denominator of 5, which is 1, 20 will not work. So maybe we would think about the 4 and 6. Well, 24 would work, but it wouldn't, 24 would not work for 5. 6 and 5 would give us 30, but that doesn't work for 4. Now if I continue with the 5s, because they're the easiest ones to find, we could see which of these will work. So we've done 30. 40 won't work because 40 doesn't go into 6 evenly. 50 doesn't work because it goes into neither 4 or 6 evenly. Uh, 45 doesn't work because it's odd and 4 and 6 are even, so that's not going to work. 55 won't work either for the same purpose, so 60, as it turns out, is divisible evenly by 4 and 6. So the question here is, uh, what are we multiplying each of these denominators by to get a denominator of 60? Well, I would have to multiply 4 in order to get 60. Again, that's what we're looking at. Looks like we would have to multiply 4 by 15 which means I'll have to multiply the numerator also by 15 again. That is so that the fraction value does not change. And that would give us 15 sixtieths x. 5, we'll have to multiply this one by 12. So we'll multiply the 1 by 12 as well. So this is plus 12 sixtieths equals uh, 6 times 10 is 60. So we'll have to multiply the negative 5 by 10. So we've got a negative 50 over 60x plus this one we're going to have to multiply both numbers by 60 even because 1 times 60 is the 60 and 5 times 60 will give us 300. Uh, I apologize, I, I did write that 16 is uh, what I meant to write there was 60, I apologize. So uh, now that I fixed that what I need to do is to get rid of all the denominators since we're comparing the same parts we can do that so I am going to write this equation now without the denominators alright so this is what I have now that I have this uh, this is just a basic equation to solve and so I'm going to choose now which side I want the x's on and I choose to put the x's on the right the numbers will go on the left. So we've got this 15x that it has to be on the other side of the equal sign. So I've got to get rid of it. Minus 15x from both sides. Now again, it doesn't matter which side you choose as long as you just choose a side and stick with it, okay? Otherwise you're going to get things mixed up and the signs perhaps mixed up as well. So the 12 did not change at all. And this equals negative 50x minus 15x gives us a negative 65x and this of course is plus that 300 now I've got that plus 300 on the wrong side it doesn't have an x so I'm gonna have to subtract 300 from both sides and the negative 65x stays and this equals 12 minus 300 which is negative 288. Now to solve this, I'll divide both sides by negative 65, which will give me the value of x because negative 65 divided by negative 65 is 1, 
And we've got negative 288 divided by negative 65. And that number, as it turns out, cannot be simplified. So this right here, I'm going to keep that as an improper fraction. And that's where I'm going to stop. If you wanted to change that to a mixed number, that's fine. Or a decimal, that's fine as well. Just understand you're putting in more steps than you need to. And the homework should tell you which value it wants. Perhaps it does want a mixed number, in which case you would change it, or you would be forced to change it. I'm okay with these improper fractions because they tell us everything we need to know. If we could simplify that fraction, we would, but this one can't be simplified. Now, you should check your answer on this one, uh, which I recommend doing, uh, of course, for tests and things, but uh, in order to see a video with checking the work you want to check uh, the previous video that I made uh, using it's pretty much the same thing just instead of distribution it's just uh, I guess it would have started essentially at this point okay so you can check that uh, look at that video watch it and I hope it helps if you have any questions please leave in in the comments below thank you very much